Now let's look at what relevant indication means versus non-relevant indication, okay? So relevant indication is any indication, uh, liquid penetrant or magnetic particle examination with a ma major dimension greater than 1.6 mm, which is 0 0.062 inch, okay? Now, this is important, note this, inherent indications, inherent indications not associated with a surface rupture are considered non-relevant indications, okay? Sources API standard 16 AR. Next, surface NDE indications with a major dimension greater than 1.6, it's the same thing, API 16 A, and then NDT indication that is caused by a condition or type of discontinuity that requires evaluation. Okay, this sounds a more inclusive one, okay? Good one. And then surface rupture NDE indication with major dimension greater than 1.6 millimeters, which is also 1 16th of an inch, again, Inherent indications not associated with a surface rupture are considered non-relevant. Now this one's even better one, okay? Only those indications with major dimensions greater than 1 16th of an inch shall be considered relevant. Inherent indications not associated with surface rupture. For example, magnetic permeability variations or non-metallic strangers are considered non-relevant. If magnetic particle indications are believed to be non-relevant, they shall be examined by liquid penetrant surface NDE methods, okay? Because this is only applicable on surface. So that will make sure that it's a surface breaking flaw. So it shall be removed or re-inspected to prove the non-relevancy. Okay, so take a moment to understand what exactly relevant indication means as compared to non-relevant, okay? Comparing that with non-relevant indication, um, magnetic particle indications or even liquid penetrant testing indications that can occur singly or in patterns as a result of leakage field by conditions that require no evaluation, okay, such as changes in sections, which means geometry, basically. So indications that happen because of geometry, changes in section of geometry of the part, like keyways and drilled holes, these are also going to give you indications. Those are typically non-relevant indications. Inherent material properties like the edge of a bimetallic well. Nothing's wrong with that, but it is going to give you an indication. Okay, typically in magnetic particle testing, but in uh, in liquid penetrant testing, non-relevant would be uh, like keyways and drilled holes. They will give you a PT indication, but it is non-relevant. <laughs>